taking a little bit of a risk here, but I think they're going to be all right. Unmuzzled, having a run. And then I've also got Chance out. However, I've just muzzled Chance just to be on the safe side because if the bay gives him any cheek, he'll most likely to delegate. But so far, so good. There's been a couple of little growls, but good girl. That's right, Rachel. Good girl. Well done. Good dogs. Good boy, Chance. That's it, mate. Come on, guys. This way. So, a bit of playful energy, but you can see Chance is a little bit tense. So, this will be good. If there's no growling and there's no aggression from Nevaeh and just play, this should be good. So, just as a precaution, I've got Chance on muzzle. Come on, Let's go. This is a bit of a calculated risk. Um, calculated based on the fact that these guys are starting to disengage when they're um, barking each other through the cages or while well, one's out. Um, they used to have to be physically removed. But now they are just disengaging just from a firm no while they're off lead. So that's why I'm hoping that I can just verbally guide them today. Let's see how it goes. Come on, Ken, boy! Trying to get that muzzle off. Good boy, Ken! Fingers crossed is a step in the right direction for these guys, bit of a milestone. And hopefully a couple of weeks from now we can have them all out here together, all four of them going for a run. It's a big ask, but you know, it's what we need to try to achieve. But there's going to be uh, a couple of speed bumps along the way for that one. Good boy, mate. Good boy. Good girl. That's it, darling. Yeah. <laughs> Just play. That was good. Good girl. Yeah, that's right. You guys are going to be mates. Come on. This way. You can see why Nevaeh really puts dogs on edge when she plays like that. She's right in their face and all over the top of them. Any dog's going to be a bit nervous and tense and go on the defensive or interact like that. You've got no people skills, so no, no uh, dog etiquette or social skills there. She's just right in their face. Let's go. That's it, mate. Good boy, mate. Good dogs.
Now these guys have been <coughs> kind of like roommates. They've been uh, li living not right side by side, but next to each other. Hello guys, hello mate, well done buddy. Hello, yeah, hello, hello, hello. Hi. Uh, 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 uh. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, good dogs, good dogs. Nope, never. Out. No, that's not how we play. Good girl, darling. Good girl. No wonder dogs are going crazy at you. Hey, eh? that's not how we play. <clears throat> so you can see, <laughs> it's really intense. So it's no surprise dogs are having a go at her, and she's aggressive. She she's playing the way that she fights. Um, which is, you know, not a very good way to make friends or to get out of that habit of, um, hello, hello mate, yeah, good boy, good boy, hello, 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 <laughs> hello darling, hello mate. Hello, buddy. Yeah, all right. All right, come on. Well, let's keep going then. Hello, come on. So I was trying to get them to interact with each other a little bit. That's probably isn't the best angle for the dog. Yeah, hello, darling. Hello. hello, darling. Good job. So I was trying to get them to interact a little bit more with each other and start to Hello guys. Nope, nope. Start to socialise a bit, but as you can see, Nevaeh jumps on the back a lot, which isn't uh, the best way to socialise. <clears throat> Gus. So I was just trying to see how that went down and try to get these guys to build a bit of a friendship. So we can start to get some social skills going. Um, but I can see any any dog that you put in with Nevaeh, it's gonna be tense because she's just way too, um, way too jumpy in the face jumps over the back she's nervous about the way she's doing it as well so she's ready to go from play to to fight at the drop of a hat this is good hey darling Nevaeh's So I can see when she plays, she is playful, but at the same time defensive um, and starting to go a little bit on the offensive straight away. So she's pretending to mouth and um, sort of half, you know, play nipping on the back of his 
shoulders and neck, which the dog receiving that kind of play is going to receive, you know, very similar sensation of um, the fact that they're getting beaten up, except without the pressure. So it's definitely not a not a way to make friends. Uh, but I'm hoping that after they suss each other out and there's no growling or negative energy, they can start to play a little bit uh, more conducive to friendship. Hello, guys. Sorry, Chance. Navo's got you covered. She's a bit quick, isn't she? But this is good. This is better. It's the stopping and then they jump on each other, <clears throat> which is no good. But this is good. So it's kind of a, a bit of a sizing up type play. You know, they're all up and on top of each other. It's all right, Chance, mate. It's all right, buddy. But here we go. When we can get nice and close and just be calm around each other, it's a better sign. Better move. Move on. All the shepherds are starting to hark up. It's going to be a bit of a difficult one for Chance and Roscoe because, you know, we've said it before, Roscoe's very vocal. You know, even just letting him out of the pen then, he's real excited, big body wag and does a big growl to me, but it's affectionate. So Chance is always going to take that um, the wrong way. So it's a tough one. Got some work to do. Puppy turned up this morning, Nova's here. So Barney and Nova having to play there. Poor old Gussie boy's like, what about me? How come I can't run? Gus still being an entire male. It's not a good mix for these guys. Yeah, uh, Gus is a big puppy, but he'll be taking the wrong way for sure. to try Roscoe and Molly together like we just did Chance and Malaya. <clears throat> but Molly doesn't like the bike. She gets a bit nervous around the bike. I don't know what's happened there but she's not a fan anytime we get her out with the bike she kind of hangs back and runs back to her pen so we've just been walking Molly and it wouldn't be fair to not let Roscoe have a bit of a run. So we'll give him a run and then um, I'd like to put, for those guys, um, I think I'll put both of them on the muzzle and just get them out together off lead 
and just see how that goes. I think it'll be all right. Um, uh, realistically, I think Roscoe would be the one I'd be watching on that one. Molly's most certainly a dog to uh, turn around and defend herself. Um, and when she does, <coughs> she, she looks like a, she's one of those dogs who'll go in and nip, 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 and, and go pretty hard that way. So um, I don't really want either of them to be off muzzle when they have their first interaction there. Um, <coughs> so we'll give him a run. And then we'll let, we'll let him go have his brekkie, let Molly <coughs> go to the toilet. And then we'll get them both out and see how they go, just for a bit of a walk around the area up there through the bush. Fingers crossed they go all right. <coughs> the benefit of doing stuff like this is they get to form friendships and they get to start to interact properly <coughs> with other dogs. Um, the risk and the downside would be that they form alliances, uh, which will then rear its ugly head when we try to do all four of them out together. Could be a big two on two. But hopefully not. Hey mate, hello. Hello buddy. <laughs> He's got a big prance on him, big like a gazelle. Um, it's kind of like he goes to 75% effort and just covers a lot of ground. But he's very, very uh, enjoyable to watch, very graceful. Thank you, mate. A uh, big smile on his face when he's running. Good boy, mate. Good boy, buddy. Good girl. <laughs> Roscoe, here our vocal is. He's just gone on a big run, but he can't handle being left behind there. Hello, darling. Yeah, hello. <laughs> hello. So this work on this shed has been postponed week after week after week, just with all this wet weather, just impossible to, to work with heavy machinery. Uh, as you can see, how muddy and sloppy it is down there. So anytime we get a couple of dry days in a row to dry it all out, I end up getting to be able to do a couple of hours and then it rains again. So it's very slow going for that, which is a bit of a shame, but we're about to come into a bit of a dry season going into our winter in here in Australia. Um, so we should be able to get a lot done then. Just means it's a lot darker. A lot more working in the dark, but it's all good. Just need to stay dry. Good girl, don't worry about her. Come on. Good girl. Hey, look, Go. Come on, Good girl. Well done. Come on. Good girl. Well done. Well done. Good girl. Good girl. Have some bricky. Then we'll come out and meet Roscoe. Oof. So see what I mean there? She has that moment of running up to do that standard aggression through the cage and then just a quick little verbal and she's disengaging. Most of them are doing that. Um, which is a good sign. You know, they were way more intense when we first got them. So it's a good sign to see that progress. Um, you know, and the indications of progress are going to be those little milestones that not many people really um, consider. But 
just the progress from going from a halter to flat collar and to achieve um, an exercise that way is, is a massive progress. Um, today, with chance on a muzzle and um, Nevea without one, it was a bit intense to start with, but I could see that Chance knew he was outgunned. Um, he, he knows his limitations with a muzzle on. He knows he's got his hands tied to behind his back effectively. Um, so, you know, you wouldn't want to get into an altercation when you can't defend yourself. So it will be a big leap of faith when uh, he comes out without that muzzle on um, because then he knows he's full power. So just those little things, even though it's the same scenario, the, the mental barrier um, is there because he knows, okay, I can't do anything, I'll behave. So <clears throat> even though there wasn't any altercation there today, it doesn't mean there won't be when the muzzle comes off. Um, so back to the point I was saying there where they're starting to disengage and respond verbally, which is a huge sign and great step in the right direction. A uh, huge sign that they're, you know, growing and developing and learning to respond to me over the environment that they're engaging in, <clears throat> which is fantastic. That's what we want. We want that verbal guidance and we want it to be heard and not blocked out. So they're just having their brekkie and then um, might see how they go. It'll be interesting. Roscoe's very vocal. Um, but I'm not sure I'm not sure that it will be too bad. Molly is showing lots of signs of wanting to avoid uh, Nevea. However, when right in the face, you know, they react. Um, <clears throat> but we'll see how they go. Good boy, mate. Good boy. Come on. This way. This way. This way. Don't worry about it. Good boy. Ah, 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 ah. Hey. Hey. Come on. This way. Good girl, Molly. Oh, Molly, sorry, darling. That's a little bit tired on your... Hey. Good boy, just relax. Just relax, mate. You're making it tense. All right. Come here. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> Come on, mate. Good girl, Molly. Good girl. Don't worry about it, guys. Come on. Good dogs. So definitely some posturing by Roscoe, as expected. Um, but it hasn't really eventuated, which is good. But there's a little bit too much focus on trying to get those muzzles off, which goes back to what I was saying before about them realizing they're powerless to be effective in a fight. Uh, it's usually what happens once I can see Chance when he's on lead and he redirects his aggression. Um, he redirects it to his handler or the lead, which shows that he knows he's being held back. So he's like, hey, let me go, let me go. Uh, and that's what this is where they start to focus on their muzzle, get it off, get it off. But they're starting to relax now, which is good. This tense stare here, this tense pause, this isn't good. It's not, um, 
not ideal, sorry, but that's where they're just sizing each other up. In a perfect scenario, I'd be able to have the bike there so that I could, as soon as we got the tent, I could rev it up and take off and, you know, come on, let's go, guys, and redirect their focus to me. But Molly doesn't run, so, so I've gone for a walk. Hello, darling. Good girl. Good girl. And a nice patch of grass there, hey? Good dogs. Good dogs. Well done. Good boy. Good boy. That's better. That's better. Good dogs. Good dogs. So the pour up over the shoulder from Molly is a bit of a defensive play. She's like, I'll play with you, but what's your intention? And the dogs feel that tension through the play and that's when if one's nervous, makes the other one nervous and they're both nervous and it erupts. Um, so this is, this is good. I was expecting a few growls and pounces from Roscoe. Come on guys, this way. Come on Roscoe. Good boy, mate. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Hey. Ah, ah, ah. Nope. That would have been a full blown fight just then. Good dogs, this way, come on. Good dogs. So they both had a bit of a growl and I can see they both had a bite at each other through the muzzle. And uh, that's where the growling started. But if they were to feel that bite from each other, it erupts. They both defend each other, defend themselves and go for it. So that's why they got muzzles on. Good darling. Gee, look how long that grass is. You almost disappear in there, Roscoe. Well, I am very happy with the fact that when it did start to growl and I could see the mouthing start again, just a quick verbal command from me um, and it stopped, which is excellent. You know, two weeks into this and they're already all taking verbal cues in what would be a very intense situation in their minds. Um, so, you know, really, really good progress for these guys so early on. Um, you know, so what our training is and what we do, that's all we ask for, is that verbal response. Good dogs. Well done, good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. So, the next pairing after this, and it will definitely be on muzzle, but it will be um, Chance and Molly out together, and then Roscoe and Nevaeh. That want to be a little bit more intense, those two out together, but I'm going to do that one to prevent the alliances. So, 
it's always going to go down. It's always going to be, you know, pretty intense and a lot of failed attempts at, at friendship when it's the other way around, when it's the nemesis, where it's Molly and Nevaeh and Chance and Roscoe. So by hopefully creating friendships between Molly and Chance and Roscoe and Nevaeh, if it does break out between the rivals at any stage, the others won't jump in and escalate the situation. But this has been all right, this has been pretty good. Good dog, that's what I want to see. Nice sniff around the back. No tension. Good girl. Good girl, darling. Yeah, hi. Good girl. Good boy, Roscoe. There we go, a bit of play there. That's good. Uh, 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 uh. That wasn't too good. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, guys. Good job. Hello. Good job. Hi. 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 Uh, 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 no. No. Here we go. She got the dirt. She's off to her room now. She's been told off, so she's taking herself off to her room. She doesn't like being in trouble, but she's reacting a little bit there. Without a muzzle on, that's a bite. There she is. <laughs> You're a good girl, that one. Good girl. Taking yourself for a time out, eh? They're pretty good there. Oh. Shut up, around. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. What a good girl, darling. What a good girl. Three. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. guys are called plovers and they are fiercely protective of their young as you can see shadow has chosen to chase them <laughs> but it's not wise i don't think they've got any um young here at the moment but They're uh, a nesting couple that are here every year. There's actually two sets of them that are in this paddock alone. Um, and I try to be as coherent as we can together to not annoy them. But they, uh, they will swoop in there and 
try to ward off any predator, whether it be ground or air. So when they do have chicks on the ground, they're flightless and they're stuck in the ground, their defense is to just go to ground and hide. And then the parents come in and one distracts them and tries to lead them away and the other one swoops. Um, hey, you meet the plovers, did you? <laughs> Um, so yeah, they're very impressive to see in action. Not when they're focused on you, it's not, but a few times I've had to go and pick up the chicks and take them to the other side of the fence or something like that, uh, or take them to the other side of the paddock when we've got the little dogs in here that are likely to stumble on them. So that's like the, thank you to Westy, um, you know, Mini and Ariel, there, there would be pretty bad combination to have in here if the chicks are in here. So a few times we've had to catch them and um, hide them somewhere and then the parents come back later and release them again. But um, yeah, they come in hard. I think I've done a video before where they come in quite hard and swoop in your attack in your... That's when we have a branch to hold it above so that they attack and swoop the highest point. That way they don't get you, because they've got a poison barb under their wing that they hit you with. Righto, Shadow. Enough nature, Jocko information there. Let's get back to it. Come on, darling, let's go. So pretty good result um, there with those pairings. Um, so in summary, Molly, a little bit reactive to having Roscoe sort of leaning on her and over the top of her a little bit. Um, however, as soon as she started to react, a simple no, and you know she disengages and wants to take herself out of the scenario. Uh, which is an excellent result. She didn't want to progress or keep going or anything like that. Um, I'm, I'm more of a simple correction um, and then put them straight back in there and try again for a positive result. But, um, you know, you can't argue um, and can't ask for much more than when selling and know that she wants to disengage and, and remove herself. So really, really good stuff. Um, so... Step in the right direction. Hopefully we can keep building on this. Alright guys, enjoy your Sunday. Speak to you soon. Hello darling. Hello. Hello Ruby.